Recording now. Okay, awesome. Well, welcome to all of our Ascension families that get to enjoy this recording of uh, this year's Spelling Bee. It's the 2021 Spelling Bee at Ascension Lutheran School uh, done by uh, Zoom meeting. So a little bit different format this year, but we're pretty excited to be able to hold one and, uh, and uh, we appreciate and congratulate all of our fourth grade through eighth grade spellers this year. So without further ado, let's begin with round one. Uh, we start with uh, Brady Kurtz in fourth grade. Your word is laptop. Can you repeat that? Yes, laptop, as in I had to do research on my laptop to finish my project. L A P. P-O-P, laptop. Correct. We go to Kelly in fifth grade, Kelly Golden. Your word is double. Double, double, D-O-U-B-L-E, double. That is correct. We go to Addison Irvin in sixth grade and your word is wine as in the baby might whine if she doesn't get her milk wine wine w i n e that is a good try that is incorrect. It's W H I N E wine. But very good job, Addie. Uh, we move on to Paige in seventh grade. Paige Brindle, your word is princess. Um, princess. P R I N C E S S. Princess. That is correct. Uh, Paul Peters. In eighth grade, your word is awe. We were in awe of the amazing feet. You're, you got it. That is correct. Uh, we go to Hadley Dager in fourth grade. And your word is cost. C O S T. That is correct. Russell in fifth grade. Russell Peters, your word is stared, as in she stared at him in the mirror. Stared. S T A R E D, stared. Good job, that is correct. And we go to Abby Brooks in sixth grade, and your word is sidekick. S-I-D-E-K-I-C-K, sidekick. That is correct. And Emerson, in seventh grade, your word is felt, as in she felt the material. Felt, F-E-L-T, felt. That is correct. All right, uh, Emily H. In eighth grade, Emily Herndon, your word is shambles. Shambles, shambles, shambles. S-H-A-M-B-L-E-S, -E shambles. That is correct. We go to 
Uh, Colton in fourth grade. Colton, your word is sizzle. So we heard the bacon sizzle. Thank you. Good job. And uh, we move to David Knox in fifth grade. Your word is purple. P-U-R-P-L-E, purple. That is correct. Ryan in sixth grade. Ryan Merkler, your word is slither. Slither, S-L-I-T-H-E-R, slither. That is correct. And we finish up uh, the first actual round with Bella, and your word is goofy. Uh, goofy, G O O F Y. Goofy. That is correct. Uh, that completes the first round. And would, would you all please uh, give Addie in sixth grade a hand? Uh, she did a good job getting to the B. And, uh, and Addie, we certainly invite you to stick with us and uh, see how the rest of the B goes. So you're welcome to do that. Um, we continue now with round two. Um, and as you guys probably all know, uh, each round, uh, it depends on if you're familiar with the word or not, but uh, generally the rounds get a little bit tougher each time. It just kind of depends on your experience with words and vocabulary. So uh, we move on to round two. Are everybody ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. Uh, Brady, you're, you're first in line. And so your word is movie. <laughs> movie, as in let's go to a movie after school. Good try. It's M O V I E. But good, very good try, Brady. Uh, we're going to move now to uh, Kelly in fifth grade. Your word is watch, as in we will watch a movie after school. Okay, thank you. And we go to sixth grade and we are uh, at uh, Abby Brooks. Abby, your word is beans, as in we had beans for dinner. That is correct. Page. In seventh grade, your word is Piper. Piper. P-I-P-E-R. Piper. That is correct. Uh, we go to Paul in eighth grade. And your word is afar. Afar, A-F-A-R. That is correct. Hadley in fourth grade, your word is sleek. Can you please say the word again? Yes. Sleek, as in he drove in his sleek automobile down the street. Sleek. Sleek. S L E. Can I start over? S L E. -K. 
Mr. Kahneman? I heard the spelling S-L-E-A-K. That would be incorrect. It's S-L-E-E-K. But good job, Hadley. Uh, we're going to continue with Russell in fifth grade. Your word is plopped, as in he plopped the snowball onto his brother's head. Plopped. P-L-O-P-P-E-D, plopped. That is correct. Uh, we move on to Ryan in sixth grade. Your word is combed, as in you combed your hair in the morning. Combed, C-O-M-B-E-D, -C -C combed. That is correct. Uh, I am going to just make one clarification uh, for the spelling bee kind of moving forward. Uh, just a couple of points of rule uh, when you are spelling. If you want to start over, just kind of let the judge know, let me know, I'd like to start over so we know you're beginning the word again. And if you do start over, you cannot change the order of any letters that you started spelling originally. So uh, for example, if the, if the word is bread and you go B-R-E, oh, wait, 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 start over B-R-E-A, well, okay. Forget, that was a bad example. <laughs> I spelled it correctly. Um, here's, here's the actual example, bread, B-R-A, no, 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 no. B, I'd like to start over B-R-E, I can't change the E and the A. It's got to be in the same order. Okay. Just a couple of points moving forward. Uh, we're going to continue now with um, Emerson in seventh grade. Your word is summer. Summer. S-U-M-M-E-R. Summer. That is correct. Uh, we've got Emily... H in eighth grade, your word is tail light, as in a tail light on a camper or a car. Tail light. Tail light. T A I L L I G H T. Tail, tail light. Correct. All right, Colton in fourth grade. Your word is hatchling. H A T C H O I N G. That sounded correct to me. Yep, good job. Uh, David in fifth grade, your word is entire, as in we watched the entire movie after school. Entire. Entire, I am E N T I R E. He started with I. That would be incorrect. It's E N T I R E, but good job, David. Uh, we move to, let me just cross these out so I don't go there. Uh, we move to uh, Bella for the last word in round two. And Bella, your word is remember. Remember, R E M E B E R. Can I ask the? That was incorrect. Mm -hmm. R E M E M B E R. So that ends round two, and I'd like to, uh, let's say thank you to uh, Brady and Hadley in fourth grade, David in fifth, uh, and also Bella in eighth. Good job, guys. Uh, and um, we kind of uh, move on to the next round. It's actually our third round uh, in 
the actual B after the practice round. So round three begins. Uh, we do begin again with Brady. I'm sorry. I'll get there. I'm catching up with my records. Hold on. We're going to begin with Colton now in fourth grade. Uh, Colton, your word is raz, as in you might raz your brother after school. <laughs> Mr. K? I heard R-A-Z-Z, -Z, raz. That, that is correct. Uh, okay, uh, Kelly, in fifth grade, your word is ahoy. A-H-O-Y, ahoy. Yep, good job. And we go to Abby in sixth grade. Your word is least. as in the greatest among you will be the least. Least, L-E-A-S-T, least. That is correct. Paige in seventh grade, your word is hear, as in I hear what you are saying. H-E-A-R, hear. That's correct. And we go to Paul in eighth grade. Your word is bowl. Bowl, B-O-W-L, bowl. That is correct. Uh, we move to Russell in fifth grade. Your word is darted, as in the squirrel darted across the street. Can you repeat that, please? Darted. Darted. D-A-R-T-E-D. That is correct. And... Ryan, in sixth grade, your word is patrol. As in the officer went on patrol. Patrol, P-A-T-R-O-L, patrol. Yep, good job. And Emerson, in seventh grade, your word is carefully. Carefully, C-A-R-E-F-U-L-L-Y, carefully. That is correct. Emily H., your word is quicken, as your pace may quicken as you walk down the hallway. Quicken. Quicken. Q U I C K E N. Quicken. That is correct. And that finishes uh, round three and looks like all spellers are moving forward to round four. Uh, just to make sure we've got everybody in uh, the rounds that we uh, want to move forward. I'm just going to double check with each classroom and uh, clear or correct me if I'm incorrect on this. I've got Colton in fourth grade, Kelly and Russell in fifth, Abby and Ryan in sixth, Paige and Emerson in seventh, and Paul and Emily H in eighth. Sound good? All right, we move on to the next round, round four starting with Colton in fourth grade. 
Colton, your word is friend. Friend. That is correct. Uh, Kelly, in fifth grade, your word is suffer. Suffer. S U F F E R. Suffer. That is correct. And Abby in sixth grade, your word is angry. Angry. A N G R Y. Angry. Uh, sorry, Paige, in seventh grade, your word is space. Space, S-P-A-C-E, space. That is correct. Paul, in eighth grade, your word is sprint. E-R-I-N-T, sprint. That is correct. Russell, in fifth grade, your word is smart. S-M-A-R-T, smart. That is correct. Ryan, in sixth grade, your word is sudden. Sudden, sudden. S-U-D-D-E-N, sudden. That is correct. Emerson, your word is little. L I T T L E, little. That is correct. And Emily H, in eighth grade, your word is wood, as in one of our helping verbs, she would have had a great afternoon if she had won the B, would. Would, W-O-U-L-D, would. Would is correct. And that finishes round four. We move with our nine contestants into the next round. And I do believe the words get a little trickier as we move forward. So good luck to all of you. Now we start with Colton in fourth grade. Your word is copious meaning abundant in supply or quantity. So there was a copious amount of wheat from the farm field, copious. Okay. I would say that's incorrect based on what I heard. Okay. I will have to go based on that. And uh, copious is C-O-P-I-O-U-S, copious. All right. We continue now with uh, Kelly in fifth grade. Your word is Patent. Patent. E A T E N T. Patent. Yes. That is correct. We move to Abby in sixth grade, and your word is convulsive. Convulsive. C O N V. U 
I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It is C-O-N-V-U-L-S-I-V-E convulsive. Uh, we go to Paige in seventh grade, and your word is straight, as in the Strait of Magellan, body of water in between two pieces of land, straight. Straight, S-T-R-A-I-G-H-T, straight. I need a judge to confirm that one. Okay, thank you. Uh, that is incorrect. Uh, a straight, as in the Strait of Magellan, is S T R A I T, straight. Weimer has to leave early, just so you know. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll go through the round and see how we end up uh, in, in the order. Um, Paul, in eighth grade, your word is laboratory. L-A-B-O-R-A-T-O-R-Y, laboratory. That is correct. Emily H. Well, I'm sorry, we're going to go back through the order. So it goes back to Russell in fifth grade. Russell, your word is detergent. D E T E R G E N T, detergent. That is correct. Uh, Ryan, in sixth grade, your word is ineffective. 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 Uh, ineffective. I N E F E C T I V E. Incorrect, that was close. I-N-E-F-F-E-C-T-I-V-E, -E -E, ineffective. Uh, Emerson, your word is garish. Garish, meaning obtrusively bright and showy. She wore a garish costume to the Halloween party. Garish. Garish. G A R I S H. Garish. That is correct. And final uh, contestant in uh, round five, uh, Emily H. Your word is president. Um. President, P R E S I D E N T, President. That is correct. All right, you'd like to thank uh, Colton in fourth grade, uh, as well as Abby and Ryan in sixth grade, and Paige in seventh grade for doing a great job in that round. Um, and we now have, moving into round six, uh, five contestants remaining, uh, Kelly and Russell in fifth grade. Uh, I've got Emerson in seventh and Paul and Emily H in eighth. Am I missing anybody? If not, we continue with uh, Kelly starting out round six. And here we go, <clears throat> uh, Kelly. Your word is, <clears throat> excuse me, not excuse me. <clears throat> uh, it is incantations. Incantations. Incantation. Incantation. 
I N T A N T A T I O N S. Can't incantation. That is correct. <laughs> uh, we move to Emerson. Um, yes, Emerson is seven. Your word is porcupine. Emerson just left. Sorry, Emerson, you were doing very well. <clears throat> okay. You want to take over, Marlo? Get up, Marlo. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll keep moving ahead. <laughs> so, uh, Paul in eighth grade, your word is gilded. Gilded. G U I L D E D. Gilded. Uh, that is incorrect. <clears throat> uh, it's may. It, at this point, I would suggest it, it maybe as a matter of a point, either wait for a definition or ask for one. Uh, gilded, gilded, as in covered thinly with gold leaf or gold paint, is spelled G I L D E D. But good job, good try. <clears throat> um, we go to Russell in fifth grade. Your word is sheathed. S H E A T H E D. Sheathed. That is correct. And Emily H, to finish out the round, your word is depths, as in the depths of the sea. D-E-P-T-H-S, depths. That is correct. <clears throat> I'd like to thank Paul Peters in this round. Give him a nice little round of applause. Good job, Paul. Uh, and now we move into round seven uh, with um, Kelly, Russell, and Emily, since uh, Emerson is not available. So we're down to the final three. Are you ready? Kelly, you are up for the next round, and your word is worse. Things may get worse before they get better. Worse. W-O-R-S-E, worse. That is correct. And uh, we are just going to go in order now with the final three. Uh, Russell, your word is Canada, as in the country of Canada. C-A-N-D-A, -A, Canada. Sorry, that is incorrect. It is uh, capital C A N A D A, Canada, noting that if you would forget the capital letter part, uh, if you spelled it correctly, we would still count that. So uh, it's not for capitalization. Uh, Emily H. <clears throat> Your word. And round seven is coveralls. Coveralls. C O V E R A L L S. Coveralls. Coveralls is correct. And as we move into the final rounds uh, with, with our final two contestants, we have. Uh, Kelly uh, and Emily H. Uh, but before we get to that round, if we would uh, say thank you and congratulations to Russell. Good job, Russell, making it to round seven. All right, uh, for the final two contestants, again, you know how this works. We will start with Kelly. 
uh, we'll go uh, then to Emily. And um, if someone misspells, well, it will, in this case, it will be if, if Kelly misspells the, that first word, then uh, it goes to Emily, which she would have to spell correctly and then spell her next word correctly to win. Uh, if um, Emily H then spelled uh, Kelly's word correctly, but misspelled the second word, then we reset and start the round again. Okay. All right, just follow along. Here we go. Uh, Kelly, you get the first word. And your word in this round is oncoming, as in we had to be careful with the oncoming traffic going in the opposite direction. Oncoming. Oncoming. O N C O M I N G. Oncoming. That is correct. <clears throat> Emily H. Your word is. Scarcely. Scarcely. S C A R C E L Y. Scarcely. That is correct. So we move on to the next round. Kelly, your next word is subtitles. S U B T I T L E S. Subtitles. That is correct. And Emily H, your word is lento. As in the song opens lento and pianissimo. Lento. Lento. L E N T O. Lento. That is correct. Uh, moving on. Uh, where's Kelly? Okay. Kelly, your word is Scandinavia. Scandinavia. S C A N. D I N A V I A. Scandinavia. Good. I missed the last couple, sorry. I, I heard it correctly. I, okay. It was correct. So yeah. that's good job. Hey, if you're in the room, you guys got to be quiet and not trying to spell them at your own backs. Okay? I need to be quiet so I can hear her. Sorry. That is OK. Uh, Emily, uh, we are ready for you now. Uh, your word is pedestrian. Pedestrian. P E D E S T R I A N, pedestrian. That is correct. Uh, we move on to Kelly. Tangents. Tangents. As in a straight line or plane that touches a curve or curved surface at a point. But if extended, does not cross that point. Tangents. Tangents. T-A-N-G-E-N-T-S. -E -E Tangents. Judge? I have T-A-N-G-E-N-T-S. What did you hear on your end? Because there may have been a letter correction. True, yeah, it was T-E then T-A, you're right. Okay, so that would have to be incorrect. Yeah. Uh, with that, um, bec because we have kind of, we've already spelled that word, Emily uh, H, I'm going to give you your word and to win, 
a final word. Okay, so you'll, you'll get your regular round word and then one final word. And if you do miss uh, the second word, then we just restart and have another round. Uh, so Emily, your first word is semicolon. Semicolon. S-E-M-I-C-O-L-O-N. Semicolon. That is correct. So you do get one more word uh, and this, it's a random word for the win and your word is ancestors. Ancestors, A N C E S T O R S ancestors. That is correct. Uh, so I'd like to, uh, at this time, uh, congratulate both Kelly and Emily H. Uh, Kelly is our runner up uh, for this year's Spelling Bee and Emily H in eighth grade. Congratulations uh, for being our 2021 Spelling Bee champion. Uh, uh, fantastic job to all of our contestants, and uh, uh, we're, we're certainly thankful. We had a few guests join us today. We're glad to have you with us, and um, uh, wish everybody God's blessings uh, and teachers in your classrooms. Uh, I, I can't remember, is, is there somebody that knows, there is a prize, I believe, that goes with this. Does anybody know what that is and could share that? Here we go. Um, they get gift cards, the runner up and the first place when I get gift cards. So there will be gift cards for our runner up and uh, first place uh, spelling bee champion. Congratulations again to those two and to all of our contestants. Uh, so God's blessings. Uh, if I may just say to everybody, have a safe and uh, awesome uh, weekend and uh, spring break. And of course, uh, when you can uh, make it to uh, church over the next several days uh, for the remainder of Holy Week and Easter, uh, please do that. You'll be, you'll be edified and um, strengthened in your faith. So uh, God's blessings to everybody. Good job.